grabbing the color that I use for so many of my makeovers called Tricorn Black. The reason I go to this color, first of all, I love it. It's also my fireplace color behind me, but it's because I have it on hand, so it's a free paint. Now, I know you're probably thinking, this does not look black at all, and you're completely right, it is not. But that's because I had a brush already with color on it. It had some Revere Pewter on it, and I store my brushes that are used in the refrigerator in a Ziploc baggie. So I grabbed it out of the fridge, and I thought, you know what, I don't mind if this one is a little more on the gray side. I'm just gonna use the brush with the light color already on it. And I dipped it in my tricorn black and I started to paint. Now, I'm trying to make sure that this lighter color gets spread around the entire vase. So I paint a little bit in the front, then I switch to the back and then the sides just so that there's an even consistent kind of a gray color across the entire vessel. trying something completely new on this pot that I've never done before and it's looking pretty cool. So I'm using regular flour right from my kitchen cabinet and I'm just spreading it all over the vessel. So this entire technique that I'm using today and sharing with you is an experiment but I promise by the end I think you'll be sold on the technique just like I am. looks after the very first coat of flour. I really like it, but I'm going to add a little more on top. So right here, what I'm doing is mixing that burnt umber acrylic paint with baking soda to get a really nice thick texture. And then I started here with a paper towel that was moist and damp, but it was taking off quite a bit of the flour. So you'll see in a couple of minutes that I actually switched to a round paintbrush because this wasn't quite getting the level of dirt I needed. So once I dipped the paintbrush in the paint texture, it really created a better look for replicating the look of dirt. Now you could actually use real mud in this step if you have any on hand, but it was raining outside and I just went with this paint because I really think it gives the dirt effect. that paint had dried I went back over it with flour again I'm just trying to soften some of the darkness and add another layer of texture and aging technique so at this step when we were using the flour we were really kind of rubbing it into the depth of the vase this vessel is actually made of terracotta so there's a lot of little pot marks and imperfections that are nice for getting this flour really deep within those grooves my inspiration vessels are over $500 at Restoration Hardware, and they are gorgeous, but this is a way that you can kind of replicate that look on your own at home. creating a very 
definite age spot. And I'm doing this with layers. So I'm going flour, and then I'm also grabbing that burnt umber and baking soda mixture, and I'm rubbing a little of that over the flour mark with my finger, and then going back again with flour. You can see my son here has a chip brush, and he's just kind of um, taking away some of that surface level flour and really working that spot, blending the two together. So this was just a little process where we figured out how to make a really authentic looking age spot. a couple of necessary items so this is called a chip brush it's a very cheap brush that gives you a lot of texture I really like using this one to get a rough look or if in this case of the video you'll see that I used it to brush off the excess flour and then this is just your standard two inch paintbrush that I use to paint my base color and then this is a color that I love called raw umber I get it at Hobby Lobby and this I mixed with baking soda to get the dirt effect on the pot. This vessel is done and it's the next day and I'm gonna show you the finished vessel and then I'm gonna style it in my guest bedroom. So here it is on the table, all dry and ready to go. Now I took it into our guest room space and put a faux olive tree in a little bit of Spanish moss inside the vessel and just used it to fill this corner. So I hope you join me next week for another video.